Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's me Alicia if this is your first time here and if not, welcome back. Okay, so for those that don't follow me on Instagram, um, me and my husband like to take a trip every year for our anniversary and so this year we chose the beautiful city of Barcelona, Spain. Um, we've been a little bit everywhere. We went to Paris, we went to Rome and kind of wanted to check out the Spanish country. So I went to Barcelona, was there for a week, absolutely fell in love. And I came back with all of, all of this. Um, we normally do like to go shopping when we're overseas just because there are stores like Bershka and Pull and Bear that are European based stores that you can't shop at or they don't have a physical location here in the US. So the majority of the stuff will be from Bershka and Pull and Bear, which are those two stores. Um, ASOS does have some and I think Bershka does now make it to where they do ship to the US. Um, but for the most part, I like shopping at those stores. One, they're um, inexpensive, they have good quality, and then I don't have to worry about anybody wearing my same clothes here in the States. Um, so that's where the majority of this stuff is coming from. I also got a lot of stuff from Zara, and I know you're probably asking, Alicia, why are you shopping at Zara if we have Zara in the States? Um, two reasons. One, Zara is so much more inexpensive over there like i'll show you guys everything that i got in the price point um it's in euros but i'll give you the u.s equivalency and then two they have a little bit more variety and so there's some things that the international locations will get that the u.s locations won't get so i tried on some stuff so you'll see that on one of these side pieces with me trying them on but for the most part i just wanted to show you guys what i got um, including the piece de resistance, what I have been saving the last year and a half to buy. So let's get into the video. All right, first things first, this is from Zara. This is a nice midi skirt. Um, for those that don't know me, I am not a dress or a skirt person. I didn't grow up with dresses and skirts. I only had to wear them like on important occasions. So dresses and skirts is something that I am trying to incorporate into my closet. It's taking a second for me to get used to it to find out what I like what I don't like so I picked up this nice little midi skirt this was um, 15 euros so it would have been $18 in the States I didn't try it on but there is I did a boomerang of an outfit of the day on Instagram so I'll put that up here love 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 it this is a medium and I probably should have gotten a small because it is a little big around the waist area however all they had were mediums and larges so i got the medium worn it it's it fits but i am going to need to get it altered just a little bit so not that big of a deal my mother's an awesome singer so i'll probably just take it to her to get it altered but nice it's kind of like a mix between like a gold cream sheen love 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 it and then it is elastic waist band and so this was from zara like i said this was 15 euros so about 18 dollars. all right next up on my dress slash skirt kick i picked up this nice little white dress from zara once again this is also from zara this was um 23 euros so it was about 26 27 dollars um i don't have the tag on this because i knew that i had a wedding coming up and i knew that i didn't have anything to wear so I wore this to the wedding. So here's a picture of me actually at the wedding. I paired it um, with like a white, not a white, a red Kate Spade purse and then some red um, Jessica Simpson shoes that I've had for years. So this was a nice, nice, cute, comfortable. I like the ruching in the front and the back. So it did hide all of the um, mashed potatoes and cake that I ate while I was at the wedding. Love the love this one. It's a little shorter than I had anticipated because I did not try it on um, at the store. Um, but I mean, it's not anything that I can't live with. I thought it was going to be too short for a wedding, and then I realized that I wasn't the only one that had on the short skirt. So I'm like, okay, I don't feel I don't feel bad. So this will definitely be making another another appearance. All right, so I picked this up at. Um, it's called Florencia. It, it's a local boutique. I don't, we were, it's probably was like a block from my hotel. So as we were heading back to our hotel, I saw it and peeked in and saw this cute number. And I'll try it on so you guys can see the full effect. It has a belt and then it has some elast elastic right here. So it kind of like cinches. Love this one. This one was, I think this was the most expensive clothing item. This was 30 euros. So about 33, $34. Love this one. It's the perfect burnt orange, kind of like a stripe. Perfect for fall. 
All right, you guys know that I, maybe you don't, I'm an Alabama grad. <laughs> so uh, anything that I see that's like houndstooth, I'm like immediately flock to it. So I found this cute number at Zara and immediately fell in love, <laughs> fell in love with it. Um, it's just a simple houndstooth that is sheer. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. I have on a green sports bra. So pardon my try on. It does have one on a green. I know moving forward, I will do a black one or yeah, probably a black one. Um, so yeah, love this one. This one I got in a medium. This was um, 19 euros. So it's about 22, $23. I love that it's sheer, lightweight. You kind of got like, these are kind of like velveteen checks or patches. Really cute, really lightweight. So this is going to be a fall and winter staple, especially for the game. I can't decide what game we're going to. Probably either the LSU or the Tennessee game. We'll see. Okay, so my last fancy blouse. This is so cute. I can't really say the name, so I'm going to put it here, but they have an entire store. The reason why I wanted to go in here was because ASOS has this brand, and I do have a couple of shirts from this brand, and so when I saw the store, I'm like, oh, I shop at Brandon ASOS. So I went in there and got this cute number. Love this. I love the sleeves on this is kind of sheer lightweight. Once again, guys, it has my green sports bra, so I'm, you're probably not able to get the full effect. I apologize, but this is me kind of like, let me get out of the way, showing it off right here. So I love that. I love it's kind of has like some, I don't know, dots or patches or I don't know. It's cute though. This was. This was 19 euros, so it would have been about 22, 23 dollars, and I got it in a US medium. Like I said, I'll put the name here. Um, I tried to check ASOS. ASOS does not have this shirt, um, so I'm glad I was able to get it. I don't know if you're able to shop online. I don't. I don't know. Google the brand. I have no idea. But love this one. Like I said, this was 20 euros, so it was about 22, 23 dollars. Couple of camis. I had wanted, um, I actually had a black cami, um, a black satin cami, and in the move, or I don't, between going from the apartment to the house, I don't know if I lost it or if in a haste of packing stuff, I got rid of it. Anyway, so I hit up Zara. Zara had these really cute satin camis. These are so comfortable. I've already worn this black one. So I'll show you a picture of the black one. I've already worn that one. And the jeans that I have on with us. Yes, I bought the jeans too. And I'll show you guys the jeans. Um, So yeah, love this one. These were, I think they were 12 euros which is about $14 so I got it in black and then I also got it in this lovely I don't even know what you call this color it's kind of like the same color I've got on right now it's just shinier what do you call this color a fall nude I don't know love this one nice lightweight it has adjustable handles right here um, I did wear a bra with this one a simple black bra However, I don't think I have a bra this color, so I'll probably have to do like a strapless bra, something like that. Anyway, pair this with, like I paired this solo dolo in the picture. You could easily pair it with a cardigan or a blazer or something like that. So I've worn the black one, haven't worn this one yet, but this one is definitely in the lineup. Like I said, I think they were 12 euro, so about $14. All right, the next item I got is really for work. We don't really have to, we're more casual at work, but when we have a client in the office, we have to dress up. So I got this to kind of add to my business casual wardrobe. It's just a strapless, not strapless, sleeveless blazer. I love because it goes kind of like really long. Let me move out the way so that this video can get in there. Um, so I love that it's really long so I could easily pair this with a pair of pants that might be a little too tight for work, but you're not going to be able to see it because my butt's covered. I have a lot of those because some people don't know how to make proper work pants. Anyway. So I love this one. I picked this one up at the same place. I picked up the white blazer, the, I meant the white shirt, the Stra, Stradivarius, Stradivarius, I don't know. Got this in a large because like I said, I needed it to cover my actual buttocks and, and the hips and the things. Um, so I tried on the medium, medium was like, no, so let's go up. So I got the large. Um, I got, this one was 29 euros, so about 33, $34. Love this one. They said they had the matching set, said match, matching item. 
available. I didn't see it, so I assumed that they sold out. But I guess it was just maybe some pants just like this. In any case, I already have some, so I didn't bother, like, terribly looking. Like, I browsed the area around it, but I didn't, like, go digging. So I love this one. Um, this also came from same place. Something. Blazer. I'm very big into oversized blazers. If you do not have at least two oversized blazers in your closet, stop what you're doing. Head to the thrift store and buy two blazers. Because that's where I started getting oversized blazers from. Go to the men's section or grow up, go up one or two sizes and your size. I um, have been able to find a lot of mine in the men's section, so go there. But you need an oversized blazer in your closet. And if you're not sure about it, just get it from the thrift store. Anyway, so got this one. This one actually got an extra large because it didn't fit. Like, I normally am able to get a large, but the large didn't fit the way I want. Like, it wasn't that... It wasn't as oversized as I wanted it, so I went up. So this is what it looks like over here. And this was only 15 euro, so $17. Got it in an extra large, love this. Um, I wanted to go back because it had other colors. They had like a black and a gray and a red. And Babe was like, no, because your suitcase is already gonna be over. And it was, but the good people at KLM did not make me pay overweight charges. Um, this is just a simple white button up. Uh, where this came from? This came from Bershka. I think I paid 20 euro for this one. So about $22. I got it in a large because it's really, really long and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, and the reason why I got it in a large was because I kind of wanted to do double duty. I am leaving for Puerto Rico in the next couple of weeks. So I kind of wanted to act as like a swimsuit cover up but then I could also put on like some shorts and kind of tuck it to kind of do like a cute little long shirt short combination so love this one like I said this came from Bershka pretty sure I paid $20 for it so 22 US dollars all right jeans I love jeans did you not see the video of me giving you guys some very very good curvy jean ideas so um these are the jeans that you guys see in the video in the picture the black cami these came from Bershka Bershka has some of the best denim that I've ever felt I just love them um so these are nice high-waisted I love because they kind of look like grungy my sister even asked hey did you get those from the thrift store no, but they're very vintage looking, so I appreciate the compliment. So I got these. I love that they're, one, they're high waist, which is a must. They're not high waisted. I don't want them. I love that they have this nice stretch here. Makes room for all the tacos and tequila that I might be drinking on Tuesdays. And then I love the kind of, you know, the distressed here. Love, love, love these. Like I said, this is a picture of them here. These were all of these jeans that I'm showing you guys are $20. Yes, $20. So about $22 US dollars. Um, these next ones are mom jeans. Um, you guys saw the next two are mom jeans. I've um, shown you guys a picture. I'll push, post it here of the, the video that I had about the best curvy jeans. The mom jeans from Bershka were there. Um, so while I was overseas, I picked up some more. These actually came from Pullin' Bear. I wanted these in a light wash with a little distress. So I picked these up. You make sure the prices I'm telling you guys are correct. These were 25 euros, so about $27. So I got these nice lightweight. Like I said, these are mom jeans from Pullin' Bear. These are a size eight. Um, and then I also got these from Bershka. These are also mom jeans. And I just wanted a different, a different wash. I had the lighter wash on the other ones. I just wanted a different or a darker wash for fall and winter. So I picked these up. These were, I want to say they were 20 bucks. I think I've already taken the tag off. Yeah. I think they were maybe either 20 or 25. They weren't over $25. And then the last pair of jeans that I got um, were just a pair of skinny jeans. I'll show you guys a video here. They're from Zara. And I normally never do Zara jeans because they're always tight. Like, 
even when they say it's an eight it's not really an eight so i got these in an eight probably should have got them in a six because once i washed them they definitely did stretch but that's okay um so i got these simple skinny jeans got a little hole here then i like the frayed element at the bottom um these are mid-rise i thought the sign said high rises i'll take them but i'm not happy about it <laughs> um these are also ones that i got at the zara store at the airport so um i think i paid 25 dollars for them all right now on to oh before we get to that this is also <laughs> a, a barcelona find zara store out of the airport this is relatively really long i am currently wearing it as a dress um but i have also worn it with just um a pair of jeans and kind of undid most of the buttons tucked half of it in to kind of do like the long skirt effect i meant long top effect this came from like i said came from zara in the airport i think i paid 20 dollars 25 dollars for it, so about 27 us dollars all right now the piece de resistance i saw these shoes um on instagram about a year and a half ago and i wanted them like i really wanted them and so i went to the website and i saw them and i saw how much they were and i'm like okay I can't get them now. Well, I could, but they weren't in my budget. And I'm, I'm all about, if it's not in my budget, I'm, I can't buy it. So even though I could have afforded them then, I'm like, no, I'm going to start saving money, taking money out of my, you know, paycheck here or saving X amount from all of the, you know, the influencer checks that I get. I'm going to save up to buy them. And I'm going to buy them overseas because it's cheaper. <laughs> so I saved up my coins, went over to Barcelona. And they had them. These are the Louis Vuitton Light Arch Trainers in this signature style. Love these. Um, yeah, I'm this is if I didn't buy anything else from Barcelona, I knew that I wanted to buy these. Um, these retail for I think either a thousand or eleven hundred dollars here in the states um they had them overseas for 700 euros but in that is included value added tech no 790 euros but in their price they do they do vat which is value added tax which means that the price all the prices that are in there is bundled in with the tax so when i got to the airport they gave me 120 euros back so 790 minus 120 that's 670 euros that i paid for these which is about 700 dollars so your girl saved 350 to 400 of them things by buying them overseas love these um they run really they i don't know i think they run kind of big i normally am a nine which means i should have gotten a 40 however i tried the 40 on they were big tried the 39 on the 39s fit just fine so i am super excited about these I haven't worn them yet because i'm freaked out about getting them dirty but these are one of the slow reasons why i wanted to go to barcelona love these um i see people wear them like all the time i even have like a pinterest board of just like the different outfits that i can get away so these would definitely be making a fall and a winter appearance like i said i had wanted them and i just saved my coins a year and a half later i saved it so the 300 <laughs> here's the thing so i saved about eleven hundred dollars for the shoes because i'm like they're gonna be eleven hundred dollars i'm gonna get over there i'm gonna buy them and so when i get over there and they were only 790 and then the lady told me that i was getting back 120 i'm like wait 120 790 i'm gonna spend 700 and so that's where all this came from because <laughs> i'm like oh i got coins left to spend so the coins that i did have left to spend i spent some of it on this and then some of it on like food and drinks and stuff while we were there. So that is about it. Um, loved Barcelona, the people, the culture, the food, the paella. 
absolutely wonderful. I did not do a blog or a vlog because I'm lazy and I forget to pull out my phone and record. That's it. I, there's there is no other excuse. I forgot in in the moment of vacation. I I have a hard time cutting back on the influencer side of me that says, "Hey, record this. People want to see it." I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet in my in my uh, blogger journey to be able to record every aspect um, of my vacation. We'll see. I'm going to Puerto Rico with a fellow blogger, so she she will make me. So maybe you'll get a, a Puerto Rico vlog. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope this video isn't too long. I just wanted to show you guys all the things that I got. Um, and know that a fall lookbook is definitely coming with some of these things. I'm probably going to try to bang it out for you guys in the next two weeks. Um, thank you guys for following me. Check out all my other videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next week. Bye.